Under the cover of darkness, the ladders moved. The bulbs were placed, strung up, handed off, one foot at a time. I really like them. I think it's a nice change of pace. As neighbors of the South Park community downtown slowly over the last two weeks saw their streets get a little brighter. It's nice that it's here. It's definitely a good thing. There's nothing downside of that. South Park sits just east of LA Live, a pocket of 300 businesses and residential towers that made the news for all the wrong reasons lately as the unfinished Oceanwide Tower became a target for vandals. Crime does concern me. I live right across the street from Oceanwide, so, you know, vandalism is top of mind. And while the city figures out how to shore up 53 stories of the unfinished building, the South Park neighborhood is fighting back with illumination 10,000 feet of it. We have added uh, up to 15 blocks of string lights. Rich Sarian is the program manager for the South Park Business Improvement District, which is backing the brightness project costing about $100,000. It's not just aesthetic. It's an investment in the community. It's adding a layer of enhancement so that the residents of the neighborhood feel safe. District leaders say graffiti and vandalism has increased considerably, not only since the pandemic, but since Oceanwide started becoming a target. 70% increase in graffiti on the street level, which is unacceptable. But with the sidewalks now a little brighter and the streets a little lighter, the hope is maybe it will stop. Graffiti tends to happen in darker areas than, you know, under bright lights. A lot of people are intimidated by the now branded graffiti towers. Having the lights down 11th and 12th kind of draws people into the heart of South Park, which is a good thing. A trail of 5,000 little luminous lamps leading to a neighborhood packed with businesses and possibilities that hopefully everyone will now see a little clearer. It definitely does look good. All the lights are expected to be strung and lit for the official unveiling on Monday. And of course, they will stay up year round. From downtown, I'm Joy Benedict, KCAL News.